The early sun is still gentle. After a morning swim, the tropical heat is present. You're not sure whether you're still wet or already sweating. The hot wind will feel comfortable on your skin. You stop to take in this amazing view. Along with the smell of local food running up your nose, you smile. Us humans start to develop and use our senses early on by being encountered with more and more new experiences new emotions and feelings we start to determine whether we like something or not yourself, you can put this emotion into scale and compare it to other feelings you've experienced so far. New observations like this continue to refine your character and result in you learning more and more about yourself. Swimming with huge whale sharks in Oslo left a great excitement with me. This incredible moment when you see these impressive looking animals for the first time right in front of your eyes. This fine line between reality and pure disbelief. Climbing up hundreds of stairs to the top of Mount Tapias, you'll be greeted by the local kids. They make your racing heartbeat and this feeling of pure exhaustion to quickly fall into oblivion. The views of Buzwanga Island and the city of Korone will answer the recurring question in your head during the climb if the exhausting hike will be worth it. A less exhausting experience, but just as worth, is accessible by boat. Local people will take you out to show you around the precious islands they call home. What an indescribable feeling when you connect with strangers who quickly become good friends, while the warm wind is blowing through your hair and here and there water splashes onto your body. If you think you have seen blue water, you might have to reconsider when you arrive at Green Lagoon. Confronting yourself with these new observations and emotions keeps the feeling of being alive. 
you escape the daily routine. You escape your well-known surroundings. You escape the comfort zone. Moments like these will reassure you that your decision to go and see the world was a good one. And not only do you expand your knowledge and experience, your social skills and self-confidence benefit from traveling just as much. Because sometimes you need to chase the memorable moments, even if the first approach may feel weird. In Badia, I arrived at the end of the road and was ready to go back. But I saw these kids playing basketball and after convincing myself to stay for a while, I spent amazing two hours on the field, playing sports and chatting with locals. And even if the kids don't know any English, sometimes a basketball is a sufficient medium of communication. Much less communication is needed below water. Snorkeling in Wild Boil allows you to truly calm down and just enjoy the beautiful coral. All the stress and noises just disappear. Sometimes a truly necessary experience to just forget about everything and enjoy the moment. Other experiences like exploring hidden or also not so hidden waterfalls is well spent time on Cebu. Hiking to some waterfalls even puts you through a little challenge. Old bamboo bridges and steep and shallow paths need to be crossed to reach this turquoise basin. No wonder you're all alone up there. Back in Caron, you don't have the Maquinet hot springs all for yourself. It still is an amazingly beautiful place to relax, so you can think about all the experiences you've made in the Philippines. Whatever situation you're in right now, whether you're happy or not, leaving your home for some time can only affect you positively. How can you even judge your current situation if you don't have a comparison? When you've made the same experiences, over and over again. That's why it is important to get out of your comfort zone, especially when you go alone. The character building you experience during that time is unmatched. Experience the unknown, see new cultures, see new places, meet new people. Go travel. <laughs>